Hey everybody, today I'm going to install a tail tidy because that thing is way too long. So I got the RNG tail tidy uh, because I'm pretty sure this is the only brand that makes them for zeros. Uh, just bolts right up apparently and it's just plug and play. So we'll see. Well, unboxing here. This is the actual tail tidy assembly. Yeah, sweet. Then I'll just go like that. Instead of way out here. And then, sticker, love stickers, and uh, all the other mounting hardware and uh, plugs and stuff. So I will show you guys how to take the stock one off and replace it with this. So number one thing before working on an electric motorcycle, make sure it's not turned on, uh, the key's out, and uh, it's not plugged into the wall. So I unplugged mine a while ago, so it should be good to go. So I'll start by removing the seat. There are two bolts on the side. You need one of these uh, Torx T45 uh, sockets. Let's take them off, they're huge bolts. Um, and then yeah, you just remove the seat like that. Comes off. And then you have access to all these wires in here. And as you can see, all these wires are kind of bunched up inside, so you have to cut this uh, cable tie, and then it'll free everything up and you can work on it. You should be extremely careful though. Um, when doing this because, I mean, there's high voltage sticker there. <laughs> uh, be careful when cutting things on here. So here's all the wires. So now that you have all these open and you can access stuff, find these two and unplug those and then just pull that out. And then these are free and you can uh, just snake them back through this. Unfortunately, to get these through there, you need to cut one more cable tie. Just snip that. And it's okay because the kit actually included more zip ties. That little box had this thing on it, um, this little foam piece. So I take that off and then you just kind of, you can pop it open. Here it is. Um, it's like a little, it's a magnet. So when you look at all these wires, um, these two that I unplugged go to the license plate light and then these are for the turn signals here and you look on this side there's um, black and red and on this side there's black and white and so you want to push this one for the the tail light or the license plate light um, at the back and pull it down under here and the one that's left is for the taillight. So if you ever want to change your taillight, if you don't like this for some reason, then this is the one you use and you'll just have to splice in somehow to whatever new one you use. So then, to access the other side of the wires, you want to take this cover off the turn signals. There's just a screw on the end. If you have LED turn signals, now would be the time to swap those. That'd be ah, actually really easy to do, since these are if these are already out, um, how does this come out? This thing just pops out, probably. Yeah, this thing just kind of pops out like that. And then you have access to the wires. This one just popped off, but there's two. Yeah, now this looks like a whole big mess, but uh, there's only four bolts that you need to pull out next. And that, those are. Uh, two in here and then two in here. I just left one um, still holding it in. So just take that out. It's a four millimeter hex or a Allen head key. So um, I'll do that next and then pull it all out. All right, that's out. And now this whole assembly will just come off. Uh, it's not gonna totally come off because the turn signals are still connected. So if you want to swap in LED turn signals, you just unplug them from up there. So to do that, uh, there are two 17 millimeter um, nuts right here. So you need an open-ended wrench, spanner, what do you want to call it? Mine is too thick to go in there, so I might have to go under. Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. 
Right, but the one thing I forgot to do was unplug this so that you can pull the wires back through and this whole assembly kind of comes off. Yeah, so the one that hooks on to the inside part of it is white and then the ground is on the outside. Um, so just remember that whenever you're unplugging this stuff and then plugging it back in. Um, yep, so I'll just unplug these and then pull them through and take this whole assembly off. So now that these are unplugged, just pull them back through and this should come out. And then do the same to this side. And here is the comparison. The stock original one, it's crazy long, and then the RNG. Um, I know a lot of you guys just made your own, but the quality on this is really amazing. And it also came with a new little um, uh, license plate light, which just mounts right here, instead of this huge, massive one. And then you can just keep unscrewing that until your turn signal comes out. Easy. And then you just put this onto the new one like that. It's even got a little, uh, it's got a little, like, um, guide thing. And there's a hole for that on the RNG. So they really thought about this and um, designed it really well. So, yeah, good stuff, RNG. I like it. And it's not to say that the original part wasn't really well made. Um, it's really beefy and like strong and uh, it's it does its job, but it's a legal thing. You know, bike manufacturers have to put these huge, long license plate holder things on there um, with tons of reflectors, uh, which I may or may not use. I don't know. They're kind of cool. They're good to have. But uh, this is just sleeker and um, it should be more aerodynamic too, which is really important for an electric motorcycle. So I will use this and it will look better. I just want to take a moment to say that RNG did an amazing job with this kit because there are all these instructions and uh, it really is plug and play because here's the new license plate light and it comes with little, um, like these little, ah, little plugs uh, that fit exactly the same as the original ones. So I don't even have to take this apart. It's amazing. So now I'm going to mount this license plate light to the new um, tail tidy. So I just need to route these wires through here, like so. And then all you do is have two hands to make it easier. But yeah, you just go like that. Super clean. Looks amazing. And they included some little nuts and washers and stuff to put on the back to mount that. Easy. And I didn't even realize, but it's LED, so it's probably way more efficient than the stock one. And it'll last longer. And in case you buy this kit, the little nuts on the back of this are 6 millimeters. RNG actually also supplied this self-adhesive uh, foam pad that just, I guess, cuts down the vibration. Even though it's an electric bike. Uh, on most bikes, there's so much vibration that your license plate can actually fall off, um, and that happened to me once. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, so now, all that's left to do is route these um, license plate light wires back up to where everything else is and plug them in inside the bike, and then we can mount up everything and uh, like route these turn signal wires back in here and, um, and then mount the license plate, and we'll be done. So when you look at the top of this, these two are like mounting points. These things, if you can see, these. And then there's a hole in the middle for the wires. So you want to route your wires through this. And RNG also included some heat shrink in the kit. Um, so I'm just going to use this and put both of the wires in there just to protect them a bit from the elements. One thing to remember when you're looking at it like this, uh, the right side has the black and white. And then the left is the black and red. You can't really see, but yeah, that's the way to go. So all I did was pull all the wires through. You see it's still kind of hanging, but um, you just kind of push them up. And then you have all the wires in here. And so you take your license plate lights and match them up. Here's the colored one and the black one. So then just plug those in. And then get the magnet again and your piece of foam this piece of foam 
wrap everything up, put it through the magnet, and then use one of the zip ties that RNG provided, like so. And so then there's another zip tie uh, holding everything else together. So you can loop all that together if you want, zip tie that, um, probably be best, and then just stuff that back in and put the seat back on. And now, that's how it looks. A whole lot more sleek and stylish. So yeah, thanks for watching, and thank you RNG for making such a cool Zero product. Alright, see you guys next time.